Well, I don't know where we are right now. Well, it's a new year, new location. Why can't we go to the kitchen? I don't even know where it is. I don't know where we are exactly. We're here. I mean, we got here, but I'm not sure how. So, so I guess it's 2013 now. Yes. Ugh. Another year happened while I wasn't paying attention. Less apocalypse this year. That's true. So, so glad about that. Yeah. Yeah. And probably some new video game machines to play games on that aren't going to be about <laughs> the end of the world. Except for a few of them. I don't know. I bet there will be a lot of them, actually. I think there will be a lot of real ones and a lot of ones that aren't exactly real. How do you mean? Well, I mean, okay, we, 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 we do know that we have, is a legitimate thing. We saw the unboxing of the, of the dev kit. But then there's something else I just saw today. It's an Android-based console that yet is also On going to Kickstarter to you know raise some money. Oh man, that's dumb. And that's a flash drive though. That like fits. Are you talking about the game stick? Something it's like, like that. An, it's like the Ouya, but it comes pre-installed on like a flash drive, and you just put it in, it, and there's like a Bluetooth controller. I mean, it's interesting. I think we're, we're starting to stretch the definition of console. Right. Where it's like, yes, if it's a device that allows things that already exist to become, to put, to put them on my TV, is that a console? I think 2013, we'll, we'll be seeing a lot more stuff like that, where it's kind of like, is it a console? Is it not? Because it's not being made by like, a big, you know, one of the top three publishers, but I feel like people are more apt to want to spend money on something small like that this year than maybe like spending 500 bucks you know, for a new PlayStation. I was daydreaming about the, there's the possibility that somebody new might throw their hat in the ring, you know? It's entirely possible we might see something from Steam. You know, they, they maybe could be doing that, the Steam box. Um, I don't know what that's gonna be, you know? Well, they've said that they're working on that. I. It'll probably be. Well, I mean, they have while. the big picture mode. I mean, they, they already are showing how that library that they have and you've purchased can be put onto your TV. Um, obviously, if you have a box, you can make that process a little more elegant and a little more accessible to people that don't want to kind of jerry rig things and maybe don't have a TV that can necessarily pick up the signal. I mean, they, I don't see them having to do too much to make that happen. Yeah. I was kind of daydreaming about the possibility that they might pull sort of a Google in what Google did with the the, uh, the Nexus line, where it's like the Nexus products are made by different companies. Like they're they're not there's ones like Samsung and ones like Asus, and they're like they're kind of just like Google approved, you know? Like what if what if Steam did that with with like pre-made. PCs that were like made for living room use. They were like, this is not, mm -hmm. you know, this is less than a grand, uh, and it and it can fit somewhere near your TV, you know, and, and it has like the Steam seal of approval, and it'll it'll run the majority of the stuff on Steam. That's that's not outrageous. I mean, like you know, the, the whole idea of Valve doing hardware is still a tough one for my head to get wrapped around. Although no. I'm I'm fairly certain, as I think most everyone else is, that something significant, like a, a new prong in their empire, is about to be fashioned. That something like yeah. that. But at the same time. The, the quality control issues, I mean, as we've seen with sort of yeah. Nexus and Google stuff, I mean, really becomes an issue and it can affect your brand. Yeah, and it's not hard to build like a home theater PC like that, but most people aren't gonna wanna do it. Like, if you can pay a couple extra hundred bucks to just buy something that's pre-assembled, I would. But at the same time, like if you already have established, you know, a profile and a gamer score on Xbox, yeah. You're, yeah, no, I would yeah. find it hard to just switch over to PC completely. But vice versa. What if, what if, uh, you know, it's at a point where there are new consoles coming out and they're going to be, you know, 600, 500 bucks a pop and people already have massive Steam libraries, presumably with stuff that maybe they're not able to run super fast because they've kind of been maybe, I mean, a lot of people do PC and console games. Yeah. I, um, I have owned tons of Steam games that I've never once played. Yeah. I just like, oh, this is on sale, click. That happens. Like, I mean, what happened if they just sort of were like, oh, oh, Microsoft and Sony, you're releasing new things. Well, we're gonna release a new thing too. It costs like a hundred bucks more and there's a whole lot of games that you can, you might already have, you know? And there's also this massive library in place and there will be continuing, like there's with, with you know, with Steam for instance, you don't have to really worry about, uh, you know, a launch lineup or continuing support. Yeah. Well, I think one thing that I would like to think would be concurrent with a hardware product from Steam is that, you know, that game with the three at the end of it that oh. I don't even like to think about because it oh. makes me hopeful and excited. But yeah, I would like to think there, there might be one. They just need one launch title. That's all. Just yeah. That's the only one they need, and, and they'll sell like they'll 
just completely sell out of And they orders. do tend to, you know, it tends to coincide with technological leaps for them. You know, when the oh, Source yeah. Engine came out, that's when we got two, and maybe whatever this thing is, you know, it would, would, would be three. The only thing that I wonder if it, if what we're thinking it is, if it would actually be competitive, since what I'm dead certain we're going to see from Microsoft and Sony is a console that, yes, it does games, but it really is this kind of massive media yeah. Oh, yeah. player. Oh, yeah. You know, there's there's all these other no, sort of facets to it. No question. And if, if, if Valve is thinking of going that way or if they're going to keep it so narrow into the games, it's going to sort of limit its appeal. Because I, I think the brilliance that Microsoft really has accomplished is that they finally made it into the Trojan horse. Mm -hmm. it comes into the house for the games, and then all these other family members start to find aspects of it that they can benefit from, mm. making Xbox Live this huge revenue generator. Yeah. And you have to pay a subscription fee for it. I, uh, I don't think we'll be seeing a new PlayStation this year, but I wouldn't be surprised if, well, obviously we're gonna get an announcement for whatever the next Xbox is. I wouldn't be surprised if Fallout 4 was like the big kind of launch game for the new Xbox. Uh, that wouldn't surprise me. That, that would be yeah. so amazing. That's my wish. Bethesda and... Uh... And, and Microsoft are in bed pretty, pretty obviously. Well, but also they somehow managed, okay, uh, to get Oblivion, Fallout 3, and Skyrim out in one console generation. That's, you know, the last one, it was Morrowind. I mean, they, yeah. I mean they, they, they definitely have some type of machine running that somehow could pull games out of this kind of magnitude. Yeah. At a far more efficient rate than I than I would have thought possible. Well, and they'll have Elder Scrolls Online out also before the end of the year, which I don't think is going to do too well. I don't think any MMO that you pay for. I mean, assuming it's just a, it's a subscription model, mm -hmm. I think it's in a I lot think of trouble. They said it is. If it is, I don't think that they've officially commented on it. I think the implication and, and uh, the wise implication or inference is that it's going to be that way. But um, I think. The old republic made anyone working on an MMO just stop and go, let's rethink our strategy oh, yeah. here. <laughs> what else is there that we haven't we haven't heard of but could, that could be a thing? I mean, we've got Metal Gear Solid Five has like all but been announced. Whatever Kojima's working on, we're probably going to hear. But once we kind of get the announcement, it's about four years later that we actually get a That's game. That's true. It's just it's. I bet you they don't even kinda, really know what that is. I mean, I, I, there's such a sense of make it up as you go along when it comes to an MGS game. <laughs> the Phantom Pain. <laughs> Ground Zeroes. It's just like magnetic poetry on Kojima's I mean, I, fridge. I, just I, make a trailer for it. I think he just sits probably in a big high rise somewhere in Tokyo and just sees everyone just kind of parsing every little bit of one of his trailers and he just chuckles to himself. Yeah. He goes, I got him again. I got him again. He's a master troll. Yeah, he's, he's really good at that. Okay, what, what, what else haven't we... Okay, we haven't heard anything from Valve that'd be great to hear this year. No, we haven't. I still think we're gonna hear from Sony for a console this year because if they want to succeed, they probably need it out yeah. this year. They're gonna at least announce it, at, I feel, sometime after Microsoft at least announces or shows off the new but Xbox. But they could do it at the same time at E3 with only an hour's... They could, you know, but the thing is... Only, yeah, only a few hours difference between the two of them. Sony has said, though, that they planned on having, like, a 10-year life cycle for the PS3, which has been out since, well, what, 2006 now? Right, but bear in mind what they mean by life cycle is kind of... I guess, yeah. yeah. The, PS, I mean, the, PS2 the PS2 just, just yeah. stopped. Yeah. yeah, so that has even, I guess, had a longer life cycle. I mean, the life cycle, if they still make it. You know, there's still a lot of people who are not doing cutting edge stuff, and it's like the well, PS3. Well, now, I mean, now you, now you can buy the PS3 as like a $200 Blu ray player, yeah. which is kind of what was happening, I think, with the PS2, where, yeah, you can play some games on it, but it was another cheap DVD player. Yep. Yeah. This isn't something that we haven't heard from, but <clears throat> Nintendo, what happens? <laughs> Wii U gets a few more games. I mean, I mean, I've, I've, I've been playing the parlor game of what has to happen and how quickly. I mean, I think they may have maybe until March to try to really stimulate sales of this. Because at some point the chatter of a new PlayStation or a new Xbox are gonna, is going to be yeah. out there and that's going to start to affect people's decision making, but they're going to put down $300. I think once Rayman Legends comes out, that'll kind of clue people in to like the capabilities of the system. But from now until then, there's like this weird dead period where like people yeah. have forgotten that the Wii U exists. Well, no, and, 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 and this is very, well, granted, they still have better games at the launch of the Wii U than they did the 3DS, but yeah, I mean, it's interesting. I mean, we, there's, there's so many very interesting games that are coming out in the first quarter. We have Bioshock Infinite, we got Last of Us, you know, we, we have all this, and then it's just, it's absolutely, we, we, we don't know of anything for the late year. Mm -hmm. You know, there's just nothing. I mean, which is why I think that for both Sony and Microsoft that, well, 
if Sony doesn't have any games for the second half of 2013 and there's no console, mm -hmm. that's not a good market position to put yourself in. But, um, I mean, how many games could come out if there are two new consoles? So I I'm trying to think of studios that haven't been putting anything out lately. Um, well, I think, well, PS3 has been really good about indies this year, um, and I think the company Giant Sparrow, who made The mm -hmm. Unfinished Swan, mm -hmm. I think they also signed on to do some kind of deal with PlayStation where they make, like, three games or something for their platform. I mean, I can see that getting us through the summer, but who's going to have the launch games? We, 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 we mentioned Fallout 4, but if you think of other studios that would be ready to be putting out new content. I'm, I'm Epic actually will a little... do something that will be lukewarm and we'll get... Well, you know, so that's coming out earlier this year. We have a new Gears of War game. We have, we have a new yeah. Gears There are two studios, I think, now that have announced that they're working with Unreal 4 and it's Square Enix and Zombie Studios. Yeah. So that's sort of like, that's that's a thing is there's a, there's a new engine and whether that's for like, you know, consoles or, or PC, it's like that's... It's a curious Epic likes consider. money. I'm gonna say it's for consoles. Yeah, mm. it's just a funny thing I've noticed. That, what 75 percent of all the games yeah. I've been playing lately <laughs> seem to be yeah. using UE3. But I just I just don't know who's around who would be working on kind of one of those big sign signature games that's that's going to be a launch one. I mean, I, I'm I'm guessing that that Watch Dogs game is going to be something like that. And after that, I just kind of go, huh? What about Fortnite. Fortnite. It's an epic game. It's like Minecraft inspired zombie. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a small downloadable game. No, it's running Unreal 4. That's oh, Epic's the other one. Oh, yeah, they, they, they made it. Duh. So do iPad games these days. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I thought, like, they were like, that's going to be a PC title. And it's like, but you're right. They do like money. It wouldn't surprise me if that showed up as yes. a 360 launch or 361. Yeah, I mean. 62. I, I, I think, think the worst Mark title. Rain over at Epic. 362. There's two people left. The Final two, Fantasy gaming two nomenclature. <laughs> Yeah, but I think I, I think at the end of the day we just want monsters. I want more monsters. I want really beautifully rendered monsters. Yeah, I mean if, if I can get more of that in 2013, I might I might uh, that might tide me over.